idols. Um, yeah. If this looks really weird, I've got a um, like a clip that uh, was in the car when I bought it. And it's a phone mount, but I've had to have it landscape because my phone or the one I'm using um, doesn't agree with portrait. Uh, portrait comes out sideways, and landscape comes out upside down. So this is a bit awkward having to do it this way, and it's slightly at an angle anyway. The hell? The fuck is this? I'm playing on. Sorry, there's some music on my own. Calavera Conspiracy. I'm not sure why they're on there. Um, but yeah, I'm just in the car at the minute, uh, letting it turn over, because it's been... It's been a while. Uh, probably a couple of days, maybe a week. Um, I did plan on getting it tax and insured, but the bank was being refurbished, so of course we go down there, and even the cash point outside was missing. So that was pretty annoying. Um, there is two other places we can go, um, but we might be seeing Monan today, so we're going to go hopefully another day and try and get those done. And yeah, I'm sorry for the horrible lighting. The sun, like, I'm in my driver's seat on the right-hand side, and you can tell where the sun is, like, it's on, it's reflecting off my gear knob, it's reflecting off my watch, it's literally completely from the left side. So, it's not ideal, um, it is at least, um, half-term, so I don't have to worry about anyone looking at me like a weirdo. Just revving the car up a little bit. Now, um... I did put a thing on Instagram about um, the Ford Focus that I'd made on Midnight Club, and uh, I was pretty excited. Can I do that a bit more? There we go, that's better. Yeah, I was pretty excited by that, and um, I was looking on the company's website, uh, the manufacturer of the body kit. Uh, they don't actually make the body kit anymore. Um, apparently they stopped doing it several years ago, which is, you know, fair enough, because Midnight Club's an old game. So, I was fairly annoyed by that. But, you know, there's nothing I can really do. And, uh, yeah, so I think the Ford Focus Dream, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I could probably work around it, though, and go with a newer model Ford Focus. Not like the Focus RS, but like the previous edition. Get like a 1.8 ZTEC or something. Um, well, the trouble is, I've got a three-door hatchback. As you may know, I drive a Suzuki... Well, I don't drive. I have a Suzuki Ignis. And, um... Think Suzuki Alto. The little boxy thing. And make it a three-door basically, and make it a lot more uncommon. So, uh, when I damaged my front wing, to get the wing replaced was like £60 for one that wasn't the right colour, like a bright yellow one on a green car. So, that was pretty shit. And, um, yeah, now Alto is a lot more common. But I, I just... It's fine, like, you get in the front half of the car, like, if you sit in, like, literally the half car, like, you get in the, the seat, the front seats and everything, it's fine. The minute you go near the back, though, there's no room. Absolutely no room. I could have a passenger in my rear seats, it'd have to be a child. I mean, I could have one other person, one other adult, in my front seat. In the back seat, I would struggle to get an adult. Um, I've sat in my rear seats once, and it was not comfortable. Um... I decided to do a test fit and had, um, I'd calibrate the front and rear, both front seats to my size, which is 5 foot 10, 5'11", sorry, and, uh, I could, I was cramped in the back, so if I've got two people in the front, the person in the back has to be quite small, and the boot space is horrible, it's, it's gotta be, like, six inches deep, like, wet, like that, it's it's so small. Like, because I thought, oh, maybe it's got a, a decent boot, but it, it really doesn't. We tried taking a carpet to the dump, and um, we'd cut it up into segments, so it's only about the size of a small rug. It didn't fit, even with the rear seats down. Um, it, it's so... 
poorly designed, really. It's not... It needed to be either a bit longer, or just make a five-door variant, because the Ignis is slightly bigger than an Alto. It's slightly bigger, but of course they don't do a five-door variant. Well, they do, but they're very uncommon. And I just thought, why would you make a three-door version of this car? It's crap. It's like getting a... Think Peugeot 106, right, in terms of size. Now, the three-door variant of that car isn't bad. It's fairly decent, fairly, you know, it's quite good for its size. And it has a decent amount of space on the inside. This is not a Peugeot 106. It's probably about a similar size, but a bit more boxy shaped at the back. And has less space on the inside. Somehow, it has less interior space. Who fucking designs this stuff? Seriously, it's horrible. I mean, the interior is okay. It's what, what you can expect, really. It's a little tacky plastic fucking everywhere. Um, it came with a cassette player, which obviously I said, no, I'm not having that. It took me about 10 minutes to replace it with um, a £20, $20 hedge unit off Amazon, which is actually pretty good. The... Um, USB port doesn't work properly though, uh, that's really janky and just doesn't want to respond, but, you know, I found, I bought a, what's this, 16 gig, uh, MP3 player like that, didn't take, you know, easy to find, put all my music on that, uh, that works beautifully, you've got, got like a small aux cable from Halfords as well, so that one, that one's really well. And, uh, yeah, I've done 87,000 miles in this car. Well, the car has done 87,000, and it runs okay. It's fairly decent. But, uh, my mum was mentioning to me yesterday about taking this to get a part exchanged for something, like, over a grand, like, one to, uh, up to 1,500 or something. And, um, so I had a look, and I did find a really nice Hyundai i10. For, I think it was like 1400 or something. But the trouble is, the value of this car... You've got an Audi A3 diesel, mate. Don't rev it. Uh, yeah, the trouble is, with this car... Um, its scrap value was like 200 So, if I were to get a car... That's value is like... 1500 That's 30... Like, say that's... 1300 I've got to pay... For the car, and that's not actually the kind of money I can afford. Um, I'm not that well off at the moment. Um, I did buy myself a very nice computer, which I'd been wanting for a while. Uh, that cost me about £850, so it was quite expensive. But where I don't play big AAA titles, it will last a lot longer than, uh, than most do. Because that's how computers, like, they all go out of date, so to speak. Um, if you play a lot of big titles, like Assassin's Creed, Need for Speed, Tomb Raider, things like that that aren't optimised properly, that's where the downfall is. But yeah, so mine will last a fair while. I have a driving instructor. Uh, some guy called Safe and Sound has just driven past. I'm not really sure what he was doing. Because he kind of pulled up, got really close to the curb. You can tell he's a new learner though. Because he got really close to the curb in front of me. And then as he got past me, went away from the curb again. I think he stalled the car as well. Because he's looking to go left. And... Just didn't move. He'd been he'd been sat there. I could see his indicator going because it's the end of my road. But yeah, he wasn't having much fun. But he's driving one of the new Fiestas. Uh, what is it like the Mark Six? Is it six or seven? I can't really remember. So yeah, he's a bit lucky. I'm just gonna open a window. Child locks on by accident. Cause I'm getting steamed up this side. And uh, yeah, oh, it feels lovely that breeze. 
Yeah, he, he was driving a new Fiesta. Me, I'm not as lucky, and I drive a Highland i10. Uh, I think it's an 04, something like that. So it's not anywhere near as nice. Um, I prefer it to the Suzuki by a long shot. I think the interior is much nicer. But nah, it's alright. Uh, I've been rambling for like 10 minutes, but I mean, there's nothing really new that's happened. That's the trouble, is I like doing these kind of videos. But when nothing new happens, I can't do anything. Like, I just sit here and just can't produce content for, you know, like a couple of weeks. And it's kind of shitty having a YouTube channel where you don't produce any content, you know? it's That's not good for anything. You know, it's kind of rubbish. So I figured if I do something like this every so often, I at least put something out, you know? It's, it's better than nothing. I don't know how long I've been in the car. I've probably been in the car about 15 minutes total, so... Fairly decent. Um, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, the trouble is, if I if I had this tax insured, I'd probably be driving and doing like a car vlog thing, like a driving one, and that would be kind of cool. As it stands, though, nah, it's not happening. But what I might do is I might clean the car. Actually, it's looking pretty grubby. I've got like two cracks in my windscreen as well, not big ones, but I've got a chip and a slightly smaller chip on the driver's side. Might need to get them fixed, I, I don't really know, but as it stands they're okay. But no, the interior of this car is disgusting, I want to get some seat covers for it. Um, floor mats are fine, but yes, it is a very, it's like a 2001, 2001 car. So it's old, it's grubby, it's rusted. It's gross, like there's stains on the seats and things because they're a really horrible cloth. So yeah, they're not ideal. But yeah, that's what's going on, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all another day. See ya.